So this is the NVIDIA GTX uh, 1080. Hello. So who are you? Hey, hey, uh, I'm Alex Chim from uh, NVIDIA. And um, is this the fastest GPU in the world? Definitely. It's our just new build, NVIDIA Pascal-based uh, GeForce GTX 1080, the, the most fastest uh, single GPU graphic card in the world. So uh, you're showing it on, in action right here? Should we walk around? Yeah, sure. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So what we're showing here today is uh, our new technology of uh, our VR stuff and including a uh, in, in very important feature we call Ansel. Ansel uh, what is, do you call Ansel? Ansel. Ansel is actually named after the, a guy, uh, a, photographer, a pretty famous photographer called Ansel Adams. And we utilize his name as our new tool for in-game capture. So what is, how does that work? So uh, how about I go to the other side? Yeah. So we can see here, this is Ansel, and uh, this is actually a real game. A real game inside a game which called Witness. So what we have in here is just to bring up a, a, a feature we call Ansel. We just press the hotkey and bring up this uh, specific unique uh, user interface. So what we can do here is the gun is originally designed as a first person point of view, but with Ansel, we can control the right of the camera. So we can see here, I can actually easily get out of this whole game and see through the whole world. As you can see, you know, originally, gamers can only do screenshots. That means you just take what you see from your screen. But with Ansel, what we can actually do is free camera. You can just rotate the camera around, get exactly the things you want to have around the world. And at the same time, we support mo uh, multiple different modes of uh, capture things. So what you're seeing here is like a traditional screenshot, but at the same time, we can support high resolution, means we can actually set up up to 130 times of the current resolution. And we can print this thing 30 to, times. Yeah, 32 times of uh, the current resolution. Why would you do that? Because, you know, nowadays a lot of uh, 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 game developers are kind of using their content to create a digital assets and uh, post them on print out stuff. So we utilize this so gamers, everyone can utilize this feature. So what we're actually showing here is people can actually just grab an image from the game and just actually print it out with 300 dpi, this quality technology, on this postcard and still having all the details on this postcard. So, so that's so what, what kind of other demos do you have with a 1080 here? Oh, so beyond this, we actually, because of um, uh, yeah. you know, Enso stuff, so we can actually not utilizing Enso for high resolution uh, photos, uh, photo shots. We can at the same time to take screenshot with the 360 uh, uh, photo shots. So what you can see here is a uh, pre-captured photo shot here. So we are using uh, SCC Vive and the virtual desktop to view this specific uh, unique experience 360 image. 360 image. Yes, it's captured by our Ansel. So that's what we're having here. And it's going to be a super important feature that will support not only just Pascal, as well for the uh, former generation of our GPUs. So this is a, a PC-based VR, right? Uh, yeah, it's PC-based You need a PC? VR and then you add the, the GPU, and then you do VR with that. Yes, exactly. Is that what you're, you're showing here, or just a whole bunch of VR? And the rest of this, yeah. We, we, uh, okay, so here. today we're also having uh, two uh, different VR houses here. Can we go in there? Uh, probably. Just a second. Yeah, yeah. probably, yeah. yeah. Just, just, yeah. Yeah, just get in. So what are they doing? So this is a game called Unspoken Running on Oculus. So this is a, a very, very interesting multiplayer game. So as you can see, we have two sets. We have two sets of this. So uh, we can have two player, two players play within a single game. So it's like a, having a shield, having thrown in the fireball, so play against each other. So that's what we're having here. A set of uh, unspoken, a multiplayer game on Oculus. And there's some uh, yeah, cameras? That's your, yeah, these are IR cameras to track uh, 
your headsets and their Oculus Touch controllers. Yeah, sure. Here. What else are people checking out around here? And beyond the Oculus, we actually also have in the HTC Vive here. So what we're showing on the Vive is not only just um, um, Everest, you, you probably heard this before. So what we're having here is... Oh, this is um, uh, mm -hmm. HTC Vive. Yeah, you can yeah. watch us. Yeah. Oh. Okay, can you, can you film me? Yeah, sure, absolutely. Alright, so um, this one? This one? Yeah. Oh, I'll just keep talking. Yeah. And okay. you, can, you can film around me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm doing that. So, uh, the HTC Vive, is that uh, even better than Oculus or what? Uh, actually, they support the same uh, resolution. So, that means visual wise, they can actually do the same thing. But of course, HTC supports like a much better tracking system so people can actually move in around with um, more motions, gestures they can utilize for in-game inter uh, interactions. Okay. Nice, I can see it, whoa. Yeah, nice. I can see this one in the... Can I grab the basketball? Yeah, yeah of course. You can pull the trigger. That's cool. Yeah. Oh. I can feel yeah. some movement in there. Is, are you pushing it? No, 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 no. I'm not pushing it. Whoa! So hold, pull the trigger. Are, are you yeah. seeing anything outside? The ball is on the floor. I'm in space. No, I'm back. Okay. Yeah, that's the next new. So what you're actually seeing here is a game Nvidia developed called Funhouse. So we create this Funhouse, utilize a bunch of uh, physics effects to put them in a game. So users can actually experience the real reality thing with all the physics stuff. Do you see anything outside? Yeah, I can actually see. Can I hit see. you? Where are you? <laughs> no, please don't. Please don't. Where, where's the girl? I'm here. Don't yeah. hit me. No? Okay. Do you see anything outside? I can only see you swing your hands all around. Yeah, it looks, it, does it look funny? Uh, well, I have it a does. I can hit myself. Yeah, yeah. we've heard. That's great. <laughs> this is really cool. Yeah, I can change it out of my I see these things in the Wow, and that's cool. Turn into a yep. Yeah. Oh. Just nice. I'm shooting yeah. some, some. I'm shooting some clowns. Yep. You don't see my clowns? No. I'm. Sh am I shooting you right now? A little bit. Yeah. Okay. In a, actually, you can uh, shoot on the ground, and you can find a hidden, a transparent Nvidia Where logo there. Actually. My shoes are not in the game. You needed some trackers on my shoes. Well, if we can do that, that's gonna be awesome, of course. That's so cool! Oh my god! VR is cool! Whoa! Okay, that's, that's fantastic. Okay, thanks a lot. That's, that's cool. Good job! Whoa! How much? How much for this system? Uh, if you're saying the whole system, including the VR headsets, and of course, including our hardware, so all the graphic costumes. That's beautiful. This, this, so this is the HTC Vive with the controller. Exactly. One included, two included. Two included. One is lab. How much? Uh, it's eight hundred dollars right now. Eight hundred dollars is available. It's already available. It's already available, and they just recently announced that you can easily just buy some uh, at the retail stores. That's so fantastically cool, but there's only one game? Yeah, well, we actually we have different games. Another thing, uh, Everest in another room. So what we're actually having here is Funhouse, like I mentioned before. And this is actually we designed on three 1080s. Because we're using two 1080s for graphics rendering, and the third one for, gra uh, for physics uh, simulation. So, so three times 1080? Yeah, exactly. Can you do three times 4K? Uh, right now, the, the display that could be uh, up in the eye is only one time 4K, right? Uh, so it would be 2.3K each or technology, something? Technology-wise, of course, we can do that, but at the same time, we need to accommodate the headsets. We need course. displays with <laughs> that kind of giant resolution. Yeah, so, That's awesome. Yeah. Cool. Uh, but how soon will there be tons of games with that? Uh, actually, this year is like an explosion of all the VR contents. Yeah. So I believe for 2016, we will see a lot of new uh, stuff, including games, applications, gonna happen in this year. Is the HTC Vive, is that the coolest one? Yeah, I guess. Or Oculus has some equally cool stuff. What do you uh, think? So we actually doing cooperation with two of these firms actually at the same time. So we're providing SDKs, engines, 
developing tools or add-ons to help this to, uh, say, content developers utilize. But in here, um, can we go again? Sorry, where, where are the sensors? Are there some sensors around somewhere? They're actually put it up there. This one here? Another one on the other side. Another one? That's it. You need this in your room, right? Yes. Is yes. that included for $800, including the sensors? Yes, of absolutely. And the two controllers? Two controllers, one has it. Wow, cool. HTC is uh, it's cool, right? Yeah, it's really cool. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, that's great. So how soon is a 1080? Uh, 1080 is already available, so you can easily just buy in retail stores or in online e-teller. Does the HTC use the 1080 in that demo? Uh, 1070. You mean those systems? Yeah. We actually use three 1080s. Three 1080s? Yes, two for graphics rendering and one for physics simulation. You need three for this to work? At this moment, we designed this, designed this fun house, just uh, want to have the richest uh, content experience for now. So, of course, in the future, we will have it available free on Steam so people can download it and it will shrink it into, say, one GPU or two GPU version so people can like still experience kind of the same thing so on their a, available systems. You need a fast Intel PC and then you add the GPU in the PCI slots or? Exactly. And how much is each GPU? Uh, for now, for NVIDIA's founder station, it's $700. $700 per board. Yes. What is this? Uh, this is actually an HDR demo we call uh, it Paragon. Paragon is actually the game developed by Epic Games. It's a mobile game, sort of shooting. So this demo is, you know, we cooperate with them to so create this character model. So what we're showing here, so in the past, like things like a 3D, uh, stereo TVs or 4K TVs, there's always lack of contents. So like we can always leverage GPU to create more and more contents. We can also render games within HDR color depth. So that's what we are showing here. What is he doing there? So you can actually not only play with the Oculus Touch controllers. Yeah, can you? You can use. You can also use the Xbox controllers as a as your input device to play with the Oculus. So you just. Yeah, this is a game called Lucky Scale. So in other action games, so yeah, get a chance to experience in virtual reality. All right. Cool. Uh, so lots of things happening. Yeah, that's the thing we're happening here uh, this time in Computex 2016 for NVIDIA.